Hello everyone, this is Masi from Gothenburg, Sweden. I'm a lead CA engineer at Energy Storage System Department in Volvo Trucks Technologies. In this presentation, I'm talking about electrochemical modeling of a high capacity lithium ion battery using GT Autolion. First, I would like to take advantage of this time to thank Gamma Technologies for this opportunity in which we can share our experience and meet each other. And a special thanks to Peter and Sherias for their support during this study. Today, I'm talking about the lithium ion battery in Volvo's electric trucks and about battery modeling, focusing on electrochemical modeling. After that, I'm presenting the electrochemical modeling of a high capacity lithium ion battery using digital ion, and finally, the conclusion and some future works. In this presentation, I would like to share my experience rather than go through into the detail of the results. I believe you can go through the detail by yourself when you receive this presentation. Volvo Group has a long experience in devs and Volvo Electric Bus is running in cities since 2016-2017. Soon Volvo Group will offer electric trucks with a range that cover almost half of the truck transport in Europe. The most expensive and sensitive component in BEVS is battery pack. Therefore, to keep the quality of our product, we must give a special consideration to the battery packs. That's why battery simulation and virtual verification play an important role in production development. At Volvo, we have a different battery packs in a shape and capacity. The main purpose of this study was implementation of electrochemical modeling and GT Auto Lion in Volvo Group. In the battery simulation, we want to evaluate the battery performance thermally and electrically without or with the combination of other systems, such as cooling system or other subsystem in the vehicle. We need a simulation to perform system optimization, also for virtual calibration and design of the battery management system, we perform simulation. To predict the state of the charge and the state of the health, we use the battery modeling. As you know, there are many levels of the simulation and I'm focused on the battery pack and ESS level to cover the thermoelectrical behavior of the battery in the level of the battery pack and ESS. We have a two major approach for battery modeling, equivalence request model, which consists of a resistance and a potential source or some additional RC branches to capture dynamic response. This type of the model is very fast and simple, but reliability is violated outside of the calibrated temperature or SOC range. The circuit parameters are often characterized at multiple temperature and SOC by matching experimental results. It's important to note that Electrical equivalent battery modeling is not inherently a physical based approach. On the other hand, we solve electrochemical governing equation to capture nonlinear behavior of the lithium ion batteries. This approach is more intensive and it needs more information compared to ECMs, but it's more accurate and more reliable than the first approach. There are many reasons for using the electrochemical simulation but I mentioned three of them here. First, to define the operating condition or operating temperature, which affect the quality of the product and its lifetime. Second, to go beyond the boundaries. For example, battery simulation in a very harsh environment. And for example, at very low or very high state of the charge. Physical test would be very dangerous and costly if you want to cover all the possible situation. And the third one, to design a control system, we need to capture the response of the battery accurately. So, in the second part, after a short introduction, I'm presenting the electrochemical modeling of one of our products, one of our battery packs. Based on the GT Auto Line steps to calibrate an electrochemical model, there are three key steps. Cell balancing, cell dynamics, 
and degradation.